I'll show you how to physically set up your first Synology NAS. I'll be using a DS923 Plus in this example, but it's going to be similar for any desktop Synology NAS unit. And by the way, the DS923 Plus is probably one of the best units you can get for a small business. My name is Bogdan Schperny, founder of Apex One IT. All my content is free to you. All I ask is to subscribe and smash the like button. Okay, first thing I'll recommend before we even get started is you want to go here to the Synology Rate Calculator. I'll have a link for you for sure in the description. And this will help you understand, for example, if the DS923 Plus is a good unit for you. So that one has four bays. So let's say, and by the way, you don't have to fill all them in from the beginning. So for example, we have a client, he's just going to use two at first. And most likely I'll recommend compare CHR and RAID 1. And so this green here is your available capacity. That's what you can actually use. And the other, you know, the other hard drives basically use as for redundancy in case of physical failure of that hard drive. So you can see what your actual storage will look like. Okay, so this is with eight terabyte drives. Let's say maybe I had two more four terabyte drives laying around. You can see what that does. First, just kind of understand where you're at and how much you might grow in a year or five years max. Okay, how much storage will you need? And can the unit you get support that? So that's one thing. Other thing, I mean, it might be a good idea to just start, for example, I probably wouldn't go with higher than 16 terabyte drives, but maybe two 16 terabyte drives, see? And that's pretty good. And if you need more in a year or maybe in two years, you'll get another one and another one and you're maxed out, at least for this unit. But you can also buy like expansion units as well, just FYI. But for a 923 plus, for example, this is with that one unit what you can do. Okay, so something to consider, check this first. But at the end of the video, I'll also show you some other desktop units you might want to consider. Also, just to help you understand how much storage you might need other than just the files you might want to store on it, you might want to watch, and I'll have a link for you. I have a tutorial on a full setup of a Synology NAS specifically for a small business. So it goes through like backing up PCs, uh, you know, Mac servers, even your Google Workspace and Microsoft 365 data to your Synology NAS. So that might change, you know, how much storage you think you might need. So probably want to watch that before you select which NAS you need. But first, let's go ahead and start with the unboxing of the DS923 Plus. And here's the DS923 Plus. It comes sealed with a Synology tape and just some quick facts there. First, we have the power extension. This is your standard US three prong. And it's about two feet long. A couple more accessories here. This is the main unit itself. And this is about five pounds, just a little less without any hard drives. About 6.5 inches tall, 7.8 inches wide, and 8.8 .8 inches deep. We have a status light overall, and for each disc, USB generation 3.2 there, USB type A, and a power button. This is vented on the sides as well. We got two large fans, a reset port, two LAN ports, so RJ45 LAN ports, then one and two. This red one here is an expansion port for additional drives. We have power, so DC in, 12 volts. This is an expansion slot as well for 10 gigabit networking. We have another USB type A 3.2, same as the front one. And at the bottom, we have two NVMe SSD slots. So just like it shows here, these pop off. It does not come with any, so you can see this is slot two. They would just pop in there, just like it shows. It of course has these nice rubber feet for your desk or shelf and your four storage slots, of course, and we'll get into how to use that in a second. This is the 100 watts power adapter for your AC to DC, and that's that port, the 12 volt DC port on the back of the Synology, and that pairs with your power cable there. And we have two RJ45 Ethernet cables. These are Cat5e, and it's about five feet long each one. And these are Phillips head screws that you would need only if you're using 2.5 inch drives, which we will not going to do here. We're going to use 3.5, there's a manual here. Lastly, there are these two keys for locking your storage drive slots. It's kind of like these modified hex. You will take this key, insert it, turn it to the right 90 degrees, and now you cannot lift it up like you can this one. Then to unlock it, counterclockwise 90, and it pops open. Now let's get this set up before we actually go on the computer. 
you'll want to grab your hard drives, right? You obviously either bought this with hard drives or you want to pick up some good ones just like this here. And I'll have these linked. You don't have to fill up all the bays, just FYI. Good thing to start with too. So these are eight terabyte Seagate 3.5 inch. And you'll notice the Synology here has them labeled. So I always go the way it's labeled. So your first two will go there. So again, your finger on the inside pops open and this slides out. Then it even tells you their pull. So you pull these kind of toolless mechanism here out. So there's one, there's two. And if you look inside, you'll notice that the connector is there on the bottom left. So just orient your hard drive in the same way, right in this part right there. It's going like that. You just place it in, push it all the way down. All right, so this will be the bottom left once we turn it, then install these back in. And you just say friction fit, with these little knobs. Just the bottom first and to the top. And this one's ready to go. Slide in till it hits and push that till that snaps in. Repeat for every single drive you have, of course. I should point out, if you do have a 2.5 inch drive, right, the smaller ones, that's what these holes are for and those screws that we saw, you would use that to secure it that way. Once you're done, grab your Synology drive keys here and lock this up and it's locked. And before we get too far, so this one's, I don't have anything here, but you can see in the back here, if you ever need to upgrade your RAM, your memory, there's two slots back here. So there's one pre-installed, four gigabyte one at the bottom there. And there's another slot open. So you can actually add to it or just replace both of them. And you can have up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. So 16 each. Then flip it around, grab at least one of your RJ45, your ethernet cables here. Plug it into port one here, or LAN one. Nice click. And of course the other side goes to your router, your network switch, something like that. So that's what I have here. And the second cable is actually not required, but if you have any kind of decent switch, you can actually do something called port aggregation, just get faster speeds. Now with the switch, I actually can't do that, but you will basically connect it here and to your switch. And if you know about that, or you can ask that in the comment section of how to do that. We just need a switch that's capable of that if you want some faster access speeds. Then grab your power cable and to this 12 volt DC port. It only goes in one way. Just make sure it's nice and straight and it should be pretty firm there. Before you even power this on, I would say, make sure you actually place this where you want it to be because once it's on, the hard drives are spinning, there's, there's more chances you can damage them. So first place this where you want it. And once you're ready, uh, make sure I guess, first of all, the, your power brick here adapter has a green light there and then push the power button up front. Just the push, it's flashing, it's just booting up. Now, once you physically have your NAS connected, powered on to your network, you'll want to obviously go and set it up. So just in short, I'll tell you that you go to finds.synology.com and that's where it will discover the NAS on your network. But for the purpose of this video, right, I'm not going through that. I'll have a video linked on the screen or somewhere in the description of actually how to set up your NAS for a small business, okay? But now I just want to show you a uh, last thing here is if you need more storage or maybe some other desktop units you might want to consider from Synology. And I'll have this comparison linked for you in the video description down below. So first, I mean, kind of the go-to units here will be the DS Plus series, what you want to look at. And you'll see our 923 Plus, here it is, okay? So it tells you it has four bays, kind of gives you the main specs here. And just so you know, so the nine here, or the last two digits represents the year that this was released as, so in 2023. And the number before that tells you what's the maximum number of hard drives you can have, including with expansion units. So this one only has four bays, but you can expand it to have up to nine. Something to consider. So another good one, I would say, I mean, you could go down if you're, you know, you want to save a little bit. A two bay unit could be fine if you're really not storing a lot of files, okay? you'll still get RAID 1 redundancy here, which is good. Otherwise, go with the 923 Plus. It'll serve you very well for a long time. The other one you might want to consider here is slightly larger. And by default, I mean, it costs maybe $100 more. So this one, the 1522 Plus, and the, you know, was released a year prior. 
but this one can go up to scale up to 15 base. So that's what you will get. It also now has those NVMe slots and when it was released, it actually did not support it for storage, but now it does with some updates. So that's great. It also has four ethernet ports on it and it starts out with eight gigs of RAM rather than four or two on this one. But I mean, this is, this is what you can do here, right? So select the ones you're looking at, click compare, and you'll see here the 923 plus, it comes with four gigs RAM built in, not built in me uh, already installed, ready to go but it's also upgradable and it tells you the max capacity. So all these have the same max capacity, but the smaller one comes with two, which by the way, is usually plenty for two. I mean, they size these for what they think your use case will be. You know, you probably don't have any virtual machines running, which is a reason why you might need more RAM. So something to consider there. Okay, so the good comparison, go ahead and use this to see which one's best for you. Again, I'll have it linked for you in the video description. And if this was helpful to you, please go ahead, subscribe, like, share this video, all that good stuff. If you have questions, put that down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Take care.